Happy Friday, Patrick Henry. This is Dr. Atkinson signing in for Friday morning meeting. Today is November 20th, 2020. Thanks for being here with us today. Uh, we are going to start off with our VIP speaker, Layla Jackson, followed by a class presentation from Ms. Payton's class. I will be back following that for our coaches for the week. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, students, staff, teachers, and parents. My name is Layla Jackson. Today I'll be talking about bullying and how it affects people. Bullying is the DGT, and that stands for Don't Go There. Have you ever been bullied? How did it make you feel? What did you do about it? I know getting bullied is not fun because I've been bullied. Let me tell you about it. I was in my living room chilling and asked my brother to put my clothes in my room. You will not guess what I saw. All the clothes were on the floor. Then I asked him to pick them up, but he yelled at me and told me to be quiet. It made me feel sad and he saw that. You will not guess what he said after that. He told me that he was sorry and that he felt bad for what he did. My brother did not realize what he did until he saw the look on my face. If you are getting bullied, make sure you bring it up once it happens because getting bullied can lead to very, very bad things. You can feel left out and sad. It's important that you get help. People might tell you that you talk too much, but do what feels right. If you ever need help, please get it. Tell your mom, dad, staff, so they can help you. Lynette Mather is an American writer. In one of her books, she said, What did the kid, kid you bully at school grew up and turned out to be the only surgeon who could save your life? I think that means to never bully people because you don't know what they could grow up to and help you with. Thank you for your time and have a great day. Hello, welcome to Friday Morning Meeting. Earlier this year, we did a fun project to introduce ourselves to our classmates. Mm -hmm. Now we would like to introduce ourselves to all of you. Check out all the things that we love. We hope you enjoy.
Thank you, Layla, and thank you, Ms. Peyton's class, for sharing. We loved what you did today, and we feel like what you're doing is so important each and every day. Thank you for presenting today at Friday Meeting. I'm going into the conscious. Let's see who's been caught this week. We have a parent catching a teacher being good. Um, this is a uh, Kacha for Miss Schwartz. I would like to tell how my son is appreciated to have Miss Schwartz as a teacher. When issues arise, she is understanding and is very supportive to make him feel comfortable. As a mom, I could not hope for a better teacher. And she would also like to recognize Mr. Schwartz, the math teacher. He has made uh, Cooper start to come out of his shell a, a little bit at a time. So these are from uh, Coventry Haywood. So thank you so much for sharing those. We love to hear from parents. And um, congratulations to Ms. Schwartz and Mr. Schwartz. Uh, these are from Ms. Wampler. Olivia Cheek, always being cheerful and engaged while learning. She's always smiling and wanting to learn more. Her progress is showing in her dedication to learning. Zayden Weinstein, he is doing better every day, showing us what he is learning and becoming more engaged in his lessons. Nyla Cannon is making great progress with her reading and her dedication to learning and her desire to do well is infectious. Good job to all of those students in Ms. Wampler's class. Ms. Schrader wants to recognize Dakai Hood, Trey Wright, David MacArthur for having their supplies out, all ready to go when group starts. Milan Georgievic, Maggie Schmidt Cousins, Harlan Strange Shoot for giving her, Ms. Um, Schrader, more than 100% every day. Congratulations. Ms. Uh, Schrader would like to recognize Chloe Todd, Benny Geiger, Kamari Connor, and Thaddeus Pryor for giving her their attention when there are many background distractions. That's good that you can remain focused, guys. Keep, the, keep that up. All right, we have a Kacha from Ms. Schrader for Annie Sowers, Charlotte Friedline, Rowan McCormick, Mook Taylor, Edward Frazier, Felix Dom, Mathilde Miller for their amazing attitudes and constant smiles. Miles Cranford, Maxwell Fielding, and J.C. on Pitchford for not giving up when things have gotten tough, showing perseverance. We love that. Thank you, Ms. Schrader, and congratulations to your class. Those are all really great things to hear. Ms. Morunde has shared quite a few with us this, this uh, morning. She's going to give a shout out to Janae Melson, first of all. She's constantly a shining example of an exemplary virtual student. Her camera remains on and she is always focused. She always raises her hand in an attempt to answer any questions. And her work is turned in with a picture of her holding her completed work, smiling, and it always makes me so happy to see, says Miss Morunde. Phoebe Rogers always shares connections and shares with us so enthusiastically. The people in her space even share connections. She is joyful, compassionate, and eager to learn. Ellery Hartman always offers to help by sharing her screen if someone is confused about how to navigate the online platform. And she's a fantastic writer, never shying away from writing a few sentences. Grace Claiborne recently shared a fabulous suggestion for our book club, and she is always engaged in our lessons. Ariel Green and Kennedy Williams always participate in calendar math and are showing such growth and mastery of math concepts. Great job. Mabel Clark and Harper Maslin always have their cameras on, they're enthusiastic learners, and they even help each other when they're sharing a space. I love how joyful they are and how eager they are to share during our feelings circle. Henry Jensen is another enthusiastic learner whose enthusiasm is absolutely contagious. He has such a wide depth of knowledge of such interesting topics, and he is a pleasure to be with. Lewis Johnson is new to Patrick Henry, and he is so eager to connect with his peers. I love how freely he shares with us and how he attempts every challenge during a read aloud or during a math talk. Anderson Geiger works from home and the YMCA, and he stays so focused regardless of where he is. 
He's even found a way to communicate answers non-verbally. And Ms. Morende is so impressed with how hard he works at being a studious virtual learner. Good job, Anderson. Ms. Morende says she could go on and on. She has a wonderful class. So stay, she says to stay tuned for more as the weeks go on. And we look forward to hearing those, Ms. Morende. Thank you. We have from Ms. Payton, a few from her class. Angelica Georgievic and Harmony Bradshaw for assisting classmates with instructions in the Google Classroom stream after regular class time. Adam Bobakaya for working through adversity and always putting forth his best efforts in class and in small group. The class is now read, are you ready for this everyone? 900 books, more than 900 books in Epic and the number continues to grow. That is fantastic. Reflex math shout outs. Since September, the following students have solved thousands of facts and are working hard on developing their math skill. Gabriella Alston, Harmony Bradshaw, Eli Burley Jackson, Emir Connor, Cole Ranson, Orson Spiewak, Sully Van Jester, Zoe Williams. I am proud of their progress and continued hard work. Those are all from Ms. Payton. Thank you, Ms. Payton. I'm so proud of your class. They're all doing such a great job. These are from Ms. Dryling's class. Ms. Dryling would like to recognize Autumn for being aware of how others are feeling and checking in to see if they're okay. That's great, Autumn, for being so kind. Thank you. Aiden for always having his materials organized and ready for our live lessons. Anna for her growth in confidence to where she is volunteering to share things in class without being called on. And Layla for making connections to things we've learned in previous lessons. Adonis for his enthusiasm and excitement to join our live lessons. He's often the first one there and he's always ready to learn together with others. Thank you all for sharing those. Thanks teachers and parents for sharing those coaches. And remember, if you didn't get caught this week, work hard and maybe you'll get caught next week. Um, actually, next week is Thanksgiving week. So I want to take time right now to let you all know how thankful we are for you at Patrick Henry. Um, I am thankful for all of the parents, teachers and staff and how hard they're working. Students, I'm thankful for you too. Um, so remember next week when we have Thanksgiving to think of those who help you and um, think of ways to help others. And um, remember to be always thankful and grateful. With that, we will close out our Friday meeting. I wish you all a wonderful weekend, a happy short week next week. We only have school on Monday and Tuesday and a very, very happy Thanksgiving. And we will see you back at Friday meeting the week after Thanksgiving. Everyone take care. Bye-bye.